In this video, we're going to tell you seven newly discovered dog breeds. Dog breeds have been around for generations. The classic lab, big dogs, little dogs. We all know these dogs, they're popular, and they've been around for a long time. But what about dogs that are recently discovered? As time goes on, more dogs come into the picture, and some even recognized by the AKC. So let's get into the countdown of seven dogs you've probably never heard of. The first dog is the American Hairless Terrier. The American Hairless Terrier was recognized by the AKC in 2016 and has an incredibly interesting history. They were started in 1972 after a rat terrier puppy was born in Louisiana completely hairless due to a genetic mutation. That puppy was then used to create a breeding program for other hairless puppies. And since then, we now have the American Hairless Terrier. This is a medium-sized dog that has no hair, so they're very unique and very interesting. So if you ever see this dog with its hairless skin and translucent ears, you'll know it's the American Hairless Terrier. The number two dog that you've probably never heard of is the Barbette. Barbettes have technically been around for quite some time, but they're only officially recognized by the AKC in 2019. They're a relative of the poodle, so they don't shed much, and according to dog time, they're pretty rare in the US. So it's hard to kind of spot this dog because they look like a poodle or the really popular doodles that are out there. But this is a great dog. It's got a great temperament, a medium sized dog that's great for families. So if you ever see a Barbette, consider yourself lucky and they are awesome. The number three dog that you've probably never heard of is the Asawak. This is another dog that was brought into the AKC as an official dog breed in 2019. Azawaks are ancient hunting dogs that have actually been around for thousands of years, but just recently have they been officially recognized as a dog breed. According to the Doggington Post, they're super speedy, have tons of energy, but they're pretty calm inside and can make a good family dog. But it's up to you to make sure that they get outside and get rid of all that energy, and they love to do this by chasing other animals, being outside on a ranch, and just having a free range to run, as this is an ancient dog breed that loves its natural habitat. The number four dog that you've probably never heard of, well in this case you probably have, is the Doggo Argentino. The Doggo Argentino first came into existence back in 1920s and has only been recognized by the AKC for a few years now. According to WAG, these dogs were bred as pack hunting dogs. They can take down large prey from pumas to boars. They're massive dogs and they're not for everyone. These dogs can weigh up to 150 pounds. They're strong, strong natured, strong willed, and they need an experienced and firm owner who's had dogs before and knows what to do. They need exercise, they need to be out, and they need investing in training. Because if you train this dog, socialize them, and get them the exercise they need, they can be outstanding dogs. But if you don't, they can be very difficult. The number five dog breed that you've probably never heard of is the Grand Basset Griffin Vendine. These hound pups come from France and only made their way to the US in the 90s. According to the AKC, they were originally a poor man's hunting dog. Centuries ago, they were used by peasants who would go out hunting on foot. They need lots of exercise and have an innate instinct to chase, so a fenced in yard is a must with these dogs. They need to be trained well and they need a lot of exercise because they're used to being out hunting, running, and chasing. They're a small to medium sized dog that's great for families as long as you can socialize them early and keep them active. Number six dog you've probably never heard of is the Neda Lanza Kai Kahuche. These Dutch hunting dogs were officially added to the AKC in 2016 and they've been rapidly gaining popularity in North America. They're a spaniel type dog and according to Vet Street, they love to run around and play. They'll definitely need a stern trainer though since if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile because they're so smart, they're active and they love to be out running around. So it'll be up to you as the owner to get them socialized, trained and a lot of exercise. If you do this, this medium sized dog will be great for you and your family. The number seven dog you've probably never heard of is the Pumi. Pumis have an unmistakable corkscrew curly coat and two thirds erect ears, all part of their very whimsical look. They were added to the AKC in 2016, but have long been used when they're native hungry as sheep herders. 
They shed little, are extremely intelligent, and that makes them an all-around great dog because of their small to medium-sized build. They're unique, but very great all around, and it makes for an outstanding dog. We hope you've enjoyed this video all about dogs that have recently been discovered, and we'll see you on the next one.